Hello everyone and welcome back to Flight Sim 2020, where out of nowhere, at least as far as I know, we have gotten the Pelican from Halo. I don't think we were expecting this. Uh, this They had Xbox game announcements today and I guess they threw this in to sort of tie in Flight Sim and Halo and this is all Microsoft's doing, clearly. Uh, so, yeah. Well, we'll try it out and I've got a plot here flying from Accord to Painfield through Seattle because Microsoft. And yeah, we'll see how it works. I don't know what to think about it. I haven't actually played the Halo games, I have to be honest. I was not a console player. And of course now it's available for PC, but uh, I have not managed to make the time to play through them, uh, the Halo games. So I don't know much about it. I, I, I've heard of the Pelican before, I've seen it around. Uh, but yeah, we've got all sorts of colors. I have to say that it doesn't really help the sense that flight sim is a serious flight sim <laughs> that we have this but then again uh, for previous flight sims we also had fictional craft not usually official ones and uh, they were mods that were added by other people third-party mods but there was a halo pelican available for fsx incidentally uh but yeah not quite as official but here we are anyway uh, i've decided to go with this delivery and we'll see how that goes and I filled it up. We'll go with the maximum amount. I don't know why it defaults to 85 pounds for a pilot and co-pilot. Obviously, uh, well, we'll just have a healthy amount, let's say. Yeah, uh, that's probably okay on average. So, yeah. Yeah. Let's find out how it is in, uh, in daylight, I think. Wow, it's a really great day here in Seattle, I see. Uh, I assume this is the actual weather. Let me just double check. Yep, live weather. So we'll 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 go with it. Uh, just in case this is not your thing, there was also an announcement that uh, the flight sim was collaborating with any builds to release an Airbus A310, a very realistic one. Any builds uh, makes very good uh, sim aircraft, and they are going to release that in November. It looks like so it's a little bit of a wait, but. It'll be a very good quality one, and it'll be available for free, as far as I know. It's part of the 40th anniversary of Flight Sim um, Extravaganza, maybe? Uh, whatever. There's an anniversary edition, and so they will have that. Hopefully, they'll have a few other planes as well, but that'll be certainly good enough. Uh, those planes are high-quality payware planes, usually, and so getting one for free is a good deal. So there is that, if uh, this is not your thing, but we will try this. It sounds like it has sort of a helicopter sound going. There's turbines, but also a helicopter sound, I swear. Okay, no more helicopter sound. No, it's just a little bit of a choppy sound. I guess this is a police one. I didn't notice that. No, I can still hear. It's an interesting sound they've got there. Oh, it's going up. Um, oh, okay, the thrusters are there. See, I thought that we would have to tilt the engines, but it's not like that, huh? It's just going straight up. No problems. Well, I guess I need to figure out how to go forward, forward. Maybe if I retract the landing gear? It's just going straight up right now. This, uh, I'll tilt forward. No, tilting forward does not do it. Oh no, it does. It does seem to get those thrusters going. So tilting forward does it. So it's sort of like a helicopter. Okay, full thrust. Uh, but it's not actually tilting forward. Well, this seems like it has a very different control scheme than everything else. So it's going to take some figuring out. Flight mode. Oh, okay. Swap, hover, or cruise mode. So we're in hover mode. Okay. Swapping. Okay. It moves around all over the place. It's got fancy sounds, too. wonder what our stall speed is. It said that the cruise speed was 250 knots. It seems easily capable of more than that. 
and we are going the wrong way. Well, maybe we should keep an eye on the highways or something. Oh, overspeed. Okay, so about 400... We'll see. Oh, we were way over speed. Okay, okay, okay. I probably shouldn't trim that down too much. Do we have air brakes? Not really. Okay, so about 350 knots. So, sort of airliner level. And it's got airliner kind of range. It's interesting that they only they have so few passenger slots. I assume that it ought to have more than that, but Okay, anyway, we're sort of jetting along. No real problems with handling. It'd be a lot more interesting with handling issues, but you know, it's futuristic. It's probably it's amazing that it responds to gravity at all, frankly. It'd be nice if they included some challenges. I'll have to take a look and see if they did. I doubt it, but maybe. We don't need a whole lot of throttle to go over speed, really. Right now I'm basically at 50% throttle and it's enough to really get the full speed. I won't block one of the runways, I'll go between them. A little bit choppy here, right over the airport. Oh, airliner. That was a very close call. Well, I mean, of course, they're not collidable. We can't collide with other planes in here. But... Sort of nifty. Overspeed again. Gosh, there are a lot of airliners around. Is that? I think that was another, another one of these pelicans. Okay, well, right around Seattle. But really, let's see how this thing can climb and perform otherwise normally. I mean, we're over speed. Let's see how steeply we can go. All right. Well, we're already over the clouds. It's reasonably comfy. Seriously worn out controls. So there's this synth version, map view, and then there's a cam version here. Cam vision. Just a bunch of fluffy clouds underneath us now. Well, we're at Mach 0.96, so we might be able to break the sound barrier here, but just barely. Yep, Mach 1. I have no idea about our fuel consumption. Apparently they thought how much fuel we have is not an important piece of information. There is apparently an autopilot, a rudimentary one. Oh, here it is. Instead of radios, we can have engine information and fuel. Okay, 92% in the aft tank, so we've got plenty of range. Still, even though we are at full thrust. We're at 43,600 and climbing. Mach 1.15. I think we're gonna way overshoot Payne Field. So maybe we'll land in Vancouver. Yes, we are past the speed of sound. See? Or here?
It seems to like 45,000 feet. We're at Mach 1.2. I'll try and get it higher, though. That hasn't given me any overspeed warnings now, even though I thought it had started at like 350 knots indicated before. Yeah, it pretty much doesn't want to get too much higher than this. Mach 1.2-ish and 45,000 feet might be a good good number for this thing. Well, I think we'll start descending now. It's not really much fun up here. Yeah, cut speed. After all, I went over speed really easily before. And we will dive. 360 knots indicated. Okay, well, hello Vancouver. There is something nice about flying it around here. Okay, we'll sort of loop around Vancouver before going to the airport, which is currently to our left there. We're doing the best that we can to descend without going over speed. It could do with some air brakes. Also, while the, the whole pods move, there do seem to be some little flaps on the wings as such. Those don't seem to do anything. That That's yaw, uh, that's yaw right now. But uh, yeah, those little flaps on the wings don't seem to do anything. The whole wing moves and they just, they're just there. I don't know why they're there. But anyway. Why do I feel like with the police thing, this is more like something from Robocop or something than, uh, than necessarily... Or maybe from Cyberpunk 2077, they had sort of something like this, didn't they? Okay, how dramatically can we drop in anyway? Well, let's switch modes. Ooh, that's rough. Okay, but we're not gonna have enough forward momentum like this. Whoa. Actually, that might be a good way to slow down. If not an entirely legitimate way. We're going down too suddenly. Okay, there we go. No, we're still going down, but... Okay, that's still going down faster than I want. Gear. Okay. Now yaw is like this and more manageable. We can go forward a little bit by pitching down. So pitching down goes forward. And of course actually going down requires a throttle down. I think there's another one over there. And basically, I think 50% will get you hovering with this. 50% on the throttle. So it's really easy. Easier than the F-35, in fact, to the India Fox Tecca one. Maybe too easy, <laughs> you know? I always like a challenge, after all. Oh, I think we're on the ground. Didn't even make a thunk when hitting the ground. 
I don't know how you taxi though. Let's see. Well, any more thrust than that, and we're not going to stay on the ground. Maybe if I switch modes. So we've switched to cruise mode again. Now can we taxi? Whoa! Ah, boo! It does not like that. It does not. Okay, so no taxiing with this. Don't taxi with this. It does not like taxiing. You had better just go up, go forward, and then go back down again. Uh, to it. Let's say I wanted to go closer to this I don't know. I'll just go nose on to it and then go down. Okay, well, there you go. So, yes, that is the Halo Pelican. Let's see if there's any sort of challenges or anything. I doubt it. And I'm only checking because I noticed with the Savoia Marchetti S55, I got these bush trips and I've already recorded a video attempting one. Uh, so I'll talk about that in that video, but yeah, there's no additional flights with the with the Pelican. So there you have it, available on the marketplace, right here, and do with it what you will. Uh, it could be fun. So anyway, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.